Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online courses. When I'm talking about Russia's war in Ukraine with people here in the West, there are a couple of red flags that sometimes come up in conversations which serve as a warning to me about the kind of person I'm dealing with. One is when people refer to the 2014 uprising, um, what Ukrainians often call the revolution of dignity, as a coup, which it clearly wasn't. And the second is when people talk about what's happening in Ukraine as a proxy war. Because a proxy war is basically a war fought between groups or smaller countries that are serving the interests of bigger countries and that are armed by those countries, trained by those countries, supported by those countries. And the implication of calling what Ukraine's doing at the moment a proxy war is basically that Ukrainians are only fighting because Americans told them to. They're not fighting because otherwise Ukraine will cease to exist as a country. They're not fighting because otherwise there'll be widespread genocide of Ukrainians within the occupied territories um, if Russia gains more land. They're fighting because America. Now, it's not that proxy wars don't happen. Um, what happened in Syria ended up becoming a proxy war. You may or may not remember that initially there was an uprising against the dictator in Syria, Bashar al-Assad. And this then very quickly turned into a civil war with different groups fighting against government forces and other groups fighting in support of Assad. After this, it then descended into a proxy war because neighbouring countries such as Saudi Arabia and Iran started backing and arming and sponsoring their own groups within the conflict in order to kind of maximize their own interests. Then the Russians got involved to prop up the Assad regime and so on. What's happening in Ukraine is a war of self-defense. It's a war against an invading army. Um, Russia obviously isn't backed by any major force. Although when I hear people say, will America fight to the last Ukrainian? I often jokingly respond by saying, will North Korea fight to the last Russian? You could also look at things like the Korean War or the Vietnam War as certain kinds of proxy wars where North Vietnam and North Korea represented the interests of China and the southern parts of those two countries represented the interests of America. So it's not that proxy wars don't happen, it's just that this isn't one. You can also talk about somebody being a proxy or your proxy if they're a person that you choose to do something on your behalf. And we particularly use this when we're talking about voting. So maybe, you know, you belong to a club or an organisation and there's a big vote coming up and you can't make it. Well, a friend of yours or your brother or someone could vote for you by proxy in the election. In the same way, when the invasion and occupation of Donbass first happened up in the north of Ukraine in 2014, a lot of it was carried out by Russian proxies, local people operating with the assistance and the armed support and the military support of Russians from over the border. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues, and in the comment section below. I'd love to see examples of how you might use proxy or by proxy.